Hi YouTube family, this is Akaya coming at you. I wanted to show you how to do a Senegalese twist. I'm going to show you how to do a Senegalese twist with a twist as well as a braid. Um, the first thing that you first do is make sure that you section off the hair, however the style that you desire. Um, and just basically section off the hair. The type of hair that I'm using today is the Kankaline hair. Um, you can also use, you can use a number of different hairs. Um, to me though, sometimes when I do do Senegalese twists, I do sometimes use a Marley Braden hair. It do make it a little easier, um, but just make sure that if you're using a Kankaline hair, you're using the, um, the Jumbo kind. Don't use the Silky because it makes it really, really hard um, to twist. And sometimes, you know, with Silky hair, it doesn't like to say twist. So make sure you get the Kankaline Jumbo. And what I do is I basically just go ahead and section off the hair. And what I'm going to do today, y'all, is I actually used a red color, so hopefully you can be able to see it better. I try to get it as close as possible. Um, what I do first is I just go ahead and section off the actual strand into two strands. Um, you got a left and you have a right. And what I do is I hold my right one in my hand really nice and tight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just set the actual weave right on top of both of them. Um, and what I'm going to do is I have my actual finger right there so I can be able to hold my left strand. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you use your thumb uh, to hold the actual hair and then start twisting it to the right. Twist your left strand to the right and just keep on twisting it as tight as it can go because you want it to be able to be tight on the actual scalp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just hold my left one really tight in my hand and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to my right strand as well as I'm holding my left strand. So just keep on going all the way, all the way to the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both strands and I'm going to go ahead and do a complete twist. So basically do it as tight as possible, making sure that you twist in the actual hair weave itself as well as turning the actual um, doing a twist. So again, you have to make sure that you turn in the weave hair as well as doing a twist. So it's kind of like a three method if you think about it. And what I always do, because um, I like to be able to put some actual um, beeswax or some kind of product on the actual weave so it can be able to twist nice and tight and nice and pretty. And what I do is I just keep on again. I twist the hair and I turn. I twist both hairs and I turn. Now like say for instance if you don't know how to do um, both for the actual twist with the two strand, you can do it actually with one. What you're going to do again, you're going to hold it real tight, twist the hair, turn. Hold it real tight, twist the hair, and then turn. Once you do it for a long time, you'll learn how to do it with both of your actual strands. Um, and then what I always do, I also use the uh, lock butter. It's just any type of thing that makes the actual twist more um, thicker. You don't want to use like some kind of gel or something because it makes it slippy, slip very slippery. So again, what I'm going to just keep on doing, um, I do it to like about half and then I get some more beeswax or lock butter and keep on going all the way to the end. And before I get to the end though, I go ahead and put some more beeswax on it because to me, it makes it hold tight. The beeswax don't make it sticky. It don't make it nothing. It just make it hold a lot tighter than it would if you was just actually twisting with your hair. I mean with the natural hair. And it makes the actual weave a lot softer too. So just keep on twisting. And then once you get to the very end, um, you don't have to get to the very, very end because I like to dip mine in hot water. Um, I make sure I leave me like some little ends. I'm going to go ahead and do a tie knot. I do have a video already on how to do a tie knot. So if you want to see that, you can be able to see how I do my tie knot. Um, and again, I just go ahead and tie knot the hair. Don't twist down too much because you want to make sure that you leave enough hair to be able to do your tie knot because what you're going to do is you're going to actually dip it in hot water um, after you um, do the actual twist. And you should be able to let your twist go without it unraveling. If it unravels, that means you don't have you didn't do it correctly. And when your clients get home, it's going to unravel on them. So make sure it do not unravel and tie it as tight as possible when you're doing your tie knot. Okay, so that's how you do a Senegalese with a twist. Now I'm about to show y'all how to do a Senegalese with a braid. Um, what you do, the braid method, you're going to go ahead and just again section off the hair like you did last time. Same exact thing. But instead of me um, doing the twist and separating the hair, I'm going to go ahead and leave the hair together and do it exactly like I would do a braid when I'm adding an extension to a braid. And again, I do have a video on that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the weave. And again, I have a video so y'all can be able to learn how to attach the weave correctly because I know sometimes it's hard. Um, I hope you can see it. 
And what I'm doing again, I'm braiding. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take some of the weave hair and mix it in with my natural, the actual natural hair. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as soon as I get to the natural hair, I'm going to connect both the natural hair and the weave together. So you should have two strands now because you made the third strand into two. Um, and what I'm going to do again, I'm going to use my beeswax because to me it makes the hair so much tighter. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and twist the hair, put it on both ends. Go ahead and twist the hair. Do exactly like I told you to do with the actual twist. You're going to keep on twisting the hair, turn it, twist the hair, turn it, twist the hair, and then turn. And again, if you don't know how to do it, just use one strand. Just twist one strand, turn it. Twist the weave, turn it. Twist the weave, turn it. That's the method that you have to use. Um, most people think you can just go ahead and just twist the hair, just twist the hair. No, you got to make sure you do that three, that three method that I told you. Basically, what you'll be doing is you'll be twisting both strands of the hair, and then you'll actual do the turn so again it's a three process method and again once I get to almost the end I go ahead and put some more beeswax you don't have to use a lot just to me it makes it more shinier it makes it more prettier more manageable and more easier to do um, and then again what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tie knot this off again and I'm also going to show y'all in a different video how to um, go ahead and curl your kinky twist or cynic leaves twist your braid or anything with a pipe cleaner Make sure you leave some ends because you want to be able to, you know, make the curl look pretty. But if you don't um, leave any ends, you can actually still curl it. You don't have to have any ends. But when I'm dipping it in hot water, I like to leave ends. But when I'm curling it, you really don't have to leave the ends loose like that. You can go ahead and twist it down to the very bottom and then just go ahead and put the pipe cleaner on. So, again, it's going to be another video for all you people that have subscribed. I thank you so much. If you will, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Take care. Be blessed. And, again, I'm going to make a video part two. I'm going to show you how to curl the actual cynic leaves twist with a pipe cleaner, also known as a Chanel stem um, at a craft store. Okay. Bye.